Hi everyone. In tonight's video, prepare to pray. Prepare to intensify in prayer by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. Let your heart be open to receive and God bless you as you stay connected to this video production. Longevity of troubles of any kind happen when spirits partner with situations. They no longer become normal. So there is poverty as a result of not knowing the loss of wealth, for instance. You see that? That is a natural consequence. But when a spirit partners with that mindset, it becomes the spirit of poverty. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Knowing then that the power of God is at the back of every supernatural manifestation, it's important for you to know that the power of God needs to be activated. Just because the power of God is there does not make it functional. Are we together now? Yes. So you can have electricity connected. Your house can be connected to electricity. But to benefit from that electricity, you must understand how to activate, to release the power. You can have your fridge not cold. You can have the television not on. You can have maybe the ACs not on. And yet there's electricity within the house because you do not know how to activate that power. To activate the power of God, I wrote here, you need to know the will of God. This is the first requirement. You will never see the power of God at work in your life, whether to heal, whether to deliver, whether to, to lift, outside of the knowledge of the will of God. You want to see the power of God at work in your life. The first thing you need to know and to understand is the will of God as revealed in His Word. This is very important. You want to experience miracles tonight and any other time in your Christian experience. You cannot experience the power of God ignoring the knowledge of the will of God. Because I have taught you that the will of God defines the boundary of the administration of his power. The power of God only functions within the confines of the will of God. Anything the will of God does not allow, anything the will of God does not permit, the power of God has no business sponsoring it. Are we together? This is important. The primary assignment of the power of God as revealed in scripture is to bring everything and all things that are in disalignment to God's will into the will of God. Hallelujah. So to activate the power of God, you need to understand his will as revealed in scripture. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 14. 1 John 5 and 14. And this is the confidence, the Bible says, that we have in him. That if we ask anything, not just according to our desires, not just according to our wishes, not even just according to our pain, if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Hallelujah. So the will of God is what defines what kind of prayer God hears and responds to. I have told you that he's touched with the feelings of our infirmity. It's called compassion. But his, his movement, his, his, his power, releasing his power in the life of anyone, including the believer, is at the mercy of his will. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 17. Paul again is shedding light and helping us to understand the value of knowing the will of God. The, the previous verses will say, Walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. He says, um, uh, he says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. When we get to verse 17, he now says, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So your wisdom as a believer is the ability to understand and walk in keeping with that which is consistent to and with the will of God. If you understand me, say Amen. amen. You want to see the power of God, you must know what the will of God is. 
and the will of God is captured as revealed in scripture as his promises exceeding great and precious promises it's a revelation of the will of God that means God has committed himself Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So God is thinking about me. God is thinking about you. God is thinking about your children, thinking about your career. But it's important for you to know what he's thinking about so that in releasing your faith to receive, you are not praying amiss, wishing amiss, desiring amiss, only to be left disappointed hallelujah praise the name of the lord are we together yes you must know the will of god for instance when it has to do with your health your wholeness and vitality the bible is very clear as to the fact that god desires us to walk in wholeness to walk in perfection of health when he sent the disciples who would later become apostles in acts chapter 10 from verse 1 the bible says he gave them power over unclean spirits the bible says he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner all manner all manner so it doesn't matter what name you call it it still qualifies to be part of this list all manner headaches all manner blood conditions all manner cancers fibroids and even the ones that medicine is yet to discover if you don't know the name call it all manner and the demons the devils must answer to the word of god all manner all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases are we together you know what it means a disease is not just a jam anything that puts you in a condition that affects your default design is a disease a disease does not have to be sickness poverty failure pain fear these are diseases the bible says he gave power to heal them so you may not be sick but you can be diseased hallelujah To heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good. I like that statement. You don't do good just because you have a kind heart. It takes power to do good anything that reveals jesus is good anything that reveals his light is good anything that brings people to experience dignity in their lives is good and the bible says he went about doing good healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him same matthew chapter 10 when you read from verse 7 and 8 7 is the message 8 is the empowerment as ye go he says preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand demonstrate that gospel by healing the sick cleansing the lepers raising the dead casting out devils he said freely ye have received freely give that means if you are in this place and you came with any sickness, any infirmity, make sure you begin to get dissatisfied in your spirit that no matter what it is called, in the name of Jesus it must leave me. Can I tell you, what you tolerate is permitted to remain. I have taught you that sickness at any level is a measure of death being meted to you because there is a health requirement that your body must have for your spirit to remain are we together everybody is given the opportunity to have one body per lifetime one body not two one body per lifetime that means it is your responsibility under God to manage that body to accommodate your spirit all through until your program is done. And your departure, your transition should not be because of the deterioration of your body. It should be that your assignment has finished and then with gallancy and honor you transit. Unfortunately, that is not the case for many people. You have a responsibility to insist. This body is a gift that God gave you. And every time sickness starts deteriorating your body, it means that it is a threat to the stay of your spirit. 
there is a health requirement that if your body does not attain unto at any given point in your life your spirit will be forced to leave you call it death are we together so every time the healing anointing comes to bring you healing it is god's commitment to live up to his word god's commitment to guarantee your longevity you will not die in the name of jesus shout a louder amen the power of god is made manifest when you know the will of god as revealed in his word second you must place a demand on the power of god by faith having known the will of god you must place a demand on the power of god by faith otherwise it's not going to produce in your life hallelujah you must place a demand on the power of god by faith in hebrews chapter 4 the hebrews chapter 4 and i'll read verse 1 and 2 please write for reference hebrews 4 1 and 2 it says let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it verse 2 let's read together ready one to read for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them uh -huh. but the word preached did not profit them stop did you see that now just because the truth is preached does not mean it to profit you you can hear me shout and yell and teach and preach declare and provoke your faith but the profiting of it depends on you too the bible says the word preached did not profit them can you imagine that not being mixed with faith this is what went wrong it was not the word it was not the preacher it was not god it was not the power of god but the hearers the potential recipients did not mix it with faith it says not being mixed with faith in them that heard it so whilst you are hearing me now i'm only giving you one part of the equation the other part of the equation is that number one you must believe hebrews 11:6 that without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto god must come believing that he is he exists and then that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him that means whilst you are seated here you must have it at the back of your mind that when i left my house are we together or when i put on my gadget to connect god was watching my diligence and he has come not just as savior but as a rewarder the rewarder of them that diligently seek him you must place a demand by faith everywhere you see the miraculous happening in scripture hallelujah in the world of the living you will always see that there was a demand no matter how incapacitated the individuals were there was a commitment they had to make a commitment jesus looked at the man at bethesda and told him rise up take your mat walk away the man at gates beautiful peter and john he had to reach to support him but the man had to make the effort to rise listen to me ladies and gentlemen the miraculous and the supernatural will be far from any believer who transfers the whole responsibility to god and says lord if you want to visit me i know you have the power to that may be a sincere statement but this is not how it works you must place a demand by faith hallelujah place a demand by faith that as the word of the lord is coming as his spirit is moving as his power already present in the midst of his people is locating you you must release your your faith this sickness so for instance if you could not move your leg while the word of god comes and as you are prompted you take that step and begin to move it don't say i've been holding my crutches for 10 years what then is the value of the supernatural every miracle does not make sense till it happens it always looks impossible till it becomes possible if it were possible it's no longer a miracle 
So don't tell me, okay, I, I, I'm, I was deaf in, in one ear. I'm not hearing you. Not. When the word of God comes, you take that step of faith. You place your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. As the word is coming, that deaf ear, it doesn't matter what it is. Listen, the reason why you are here is because for those who are trusting to be healed, you most likely have a medical report. I hope you know that medical report came as the conclusion of years of experimentation until certain facts were put in place, medically speaking. And I hope you agree with me that medicine is still evolving as much as we appreciate it, meaning there are many dimensions of reality that is beyond, currently beyond the scope of science. If you believe that medical report enough to bring it to church and say, here it is. This is cancer, this is fibroid, this is that I will never see again or some kind of thing. There's some bone condition, my kidneys are packing up. And that is as much as medicine has gone and has advanced, this is a conclusion of many years and decades of diligence in experimentation. And we appreciate that. But there is a more superior route and this you must believe. Jesus heals. He really does. Let me tell you the difference between a sickness or a disease that is maybe a natural, of natural cause and that which is demonic. The difference is that anything that is natural, the leaves, huh? he says that the leaves of those trees are for the healings of the nation. That means anything that is of a natural cause. Are we together now? There has to be, with the level of advancement of medicine, there should be a solution to it. The moment it defies drugs that have been made from the elements of God's creation, it tells you that there is a spirit that has come to partner with that condition. Longevity of troubles of any kind happen when spirits partner with situations. They no longer become normal. So there is poverty as a result of not knowing the laws of wealth, for instance. You see that? That is a natural consequence. But when a spirit partners with that mindset, it becomes the spirit of poverty. So there are two things you have to do to save that person. One, that spirit that is behind that condition has to be taken out of that person's life. Then two, his mind will have to receive a superior orientation. That's what brings total deliverance for that person. Are we together? So you can say, I have headache. When you stretch yourself as medicine teaches us, it's possible that you can have your body just responding in unfavorable ways. But when that becomes a condition that defies medicine and the doctors have done their best, that one now, a spirit has seen a loophole and it has come to lay sway on it. And in the name of Jesus, any spirit that is behind any infirmity and any condition, it must let you go this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, spirits do not just attach themselves to bodies. Spirits attach themselves to situations. You need to understand this. James 2.26 For a body without a spirit is dead. Anything that is alive, the trouble that plagues many, you can see that that trouble is alive. There is a spirit that gave it life. Are we together? The power of God is not just limited to healing sick bodies. There are situations that have been empowered to remain. Because there are spirits behind it. And it will be a waste to just discuss and hope and wish. It takes the manifestation of the power of God for those spirits to depart. You believe me. This is what I've done every day of my life. So many people can have situations now as captured in your prayer request. You call it different names. But the truth is that in the realm of the spirit, for most of these situations, there are spirits. The loggerheads between a man and his wife, you may have, there may, there may be certain logical reasons, but behind it, there are spirits empowering the continuity of that pain. Are we together? Depletion. All kinds of negative conditions. Jesus as the son of the living God, without the empowerment and the partnership of the Holy Spirit, could not do much when he walked upon the earth. 
the madman in Gadara, the Bible lets us know that as a normal man, we would see the later part of his life. An ordinary man, very kind man, well behaved, but not when these violent spirits came. The Bible says he will cut himself. You get a knife or some sharp object and try to lacerate yourself in your sound mind and see how painful it is. So it takes, there are people who hurt themselves. They hurt themselves with unwise decisions. They hurt themselves by moving consciously into zones that cause danger to their lives. They think they are going on their own, but there are spirits that lead men to trouble. The same way the Holy Spirit leads men to favor. Do you not know that there are people, the moment there is a scheming of trouble these spirits lead them there they never wake up in the morning and return in peace as they leave their house you know they are coming back with trouble trouble with the police trouble with some kind of thing you go to the mall and trouble just looks for you there Is the Lord provoking someone? So the supernatural and the, and the miraculous will always demand actions of obedience. Always demand actions of obedience. Experiencing the power of God is not difficult when you understand the dynamics of its operation. Whatsoever he tells you to do, he says do. The simplicity of faith has robbed many people from receiving extraordinary mirac miraculous results because sometimes we become too calculative and too scientific or we meditate on the pains and the problems so much that based on the frame of our reasoning we cannot see how a miracle will happen in the midst of that situation how shall these things be mary said seeing that i know not a man and gabriel replies and says the holy ghost the power of the highest shall overshadow you we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.